be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like this video, okay? Because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now check this out. Today we're gonna be continuing our excuse me. Today we're gonna be continuing our 10 minute beat making series, all right? So what we do is we make beats in 10 minutes or less, and we're gonna do each process of the beat making process in 10 minutes or less. So first First part is making the beat, okay? Coming up with all the sounds and coming up with all the melodies and kick patterns and stuff like that. First video. Second video, we're gonna arrange it into song format, okay? Second video, which is what we're in for this beat. And then the third video, we're gonna mix it in 10 minutes or less, all right? So the bucky of seat belts today, we're gonna be actually arranging a um, drill beat in 10 minutes or less. So before we get started, I'm gonna let you check out this drill beat we just made in the previous video, and then we're gonna be arranging it into song format. So let's check it out. So I see there's one thing I need to fix, which is this uh, kick right here. All right, cool. And then before we can actually do this, I like to organize my beat. Um, I'm going to put the drums at top. So I got my kick here at the top. Then we'll put our snare. I got this uh, shaker. And then we can go probably like with this bass. Uh, or we can, yeah, bass. And then we can do like a, you know, yeah, this works. Cool. So the first thing is first when it comes to like song format, um, you know, obviously you want to identify the different parts of your, you know, the song, um, what parts of the beat are going to go for different parts. So first, first things first, for the most part, everything um, should go for the hook. So like if you have all of these instruments, this should be the hook, you feel me, which it is. So that makes it simple as far as identifying what the hook's gonna be. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down option as everything is highlighted. I'm gonna drag it and pull it on over here like this. All right, now to make it easy for me to identify the different sections of the song, I'm gonna actually go over here to our toolbar and I'm gonna go to our colors and I'm just gonna color code this hook. So I know that this is gonna be my hook. So I'm gonna put that as this light blue color, um, maybe like a little darker like that. That's cool, all right. And now what we want to do is identify, all right, well, what's going to be for the verses? A cool, easy way to do that would be maybe either to turn, take out um, certain sounds. So I can identify like, hey, which sound is going to go for the hook and which sound is not. So let's just listen. So now I know what sound is going to go for the hook and which sound is going to go for the verses. Basically, anytime the hook is playing, this black diamonds sound is going to be for the hook. So I know that this is not going to be in any of the verses. So what I can do is push control M and that's going to mute it here in the workspace window. So when I unmute this, I know I'm going to be good here. Um, also, what I'm going to be doing is alternating between having this um, vocal going and the vocal not going. So what I could do is take this, highlight it, and now we're going to just going to drag this bad boy right over here like this, and we'll do it one more time. Okay. Um, what that's going to do, if I just push Control M, I'm just going to um, mute out this guy right here, this vocal, and I'm going to have that vocal coming in. Uh, towards the second part of the hook um, verse, excuse me. So what I'll do is now go ahead and highlight this verse and I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the color of it. So we might make it like a purple color or maybe a darker blue. Yeah, let's do a dark blue. Bad. So now I know my hook is gonna be the light, be the light color blue and my verse is gonna be this blue right here, right? Now, one trick here um, to identify like right before uh, or make a transition right before the next hook's gonna come in, is you could take like your beat um, and any of your percussion and your beat sounds, like your drum sounds, you can take maybe one bar of that and just delete it, okay? And it's gonna basically give you a little bit of space right before it comes in um, to make it flow together pretty dope. So what I'll do now that I have my uh, hook and my verse, 
we'll go ahead and we're going to extend this a few times. So we extend it one time. Now, now, now we have a verse one and a verse two. And we can do it one more time for verse three. And I'm going to take this just to complete this right here. Now, the only other thing that we really need to focus on is going to be our intro and our outro. And that's going to be pretty simple, I think, as well, because usually it's just going to be I'm going to take out the uh, drums. OK, so let's just listen to that and see if it's going to fit well for the actual. Uh, Perfect. So that's going to be for our intro. And if we really want to take this to the next level with this intro, I can actually have this intro kind of building by uh, adding the snare and the shaker um, on the second part of this uh, intro. So that's what I'll do. I'm just going to go ahead and do a command T to trim this and hold down option, or excuse me, control M to unmute that part. Now this is going to be my intro and I'm just going to go ahead and code this maybe pink. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter. I actually would do orange or yeah. Yeah, we'll do this like orangish red color for my intro. Bet. So now I can just highlight this and drag this bad boy right on over like this. And to finish this song out, I could take this intro and drag them on over here like so. All right. And then I'm just going to take this and mute that bad boy out right here. And I want to have like also a fade out part on here. So I'm just going to have this going like this. And we're going to fade these last two instruments uh, or tracks out. And for the most part, y'all, this is the beat's going to be done. Now, I will say that I want to, you know, still add a little bit of variation between certain things, but I have a pretty solid track right now. Let's just listen to it all the way through. And y'all tell me if y'all like it in the comments.
pretty much today's video. Before I uh, end it, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a few things. As you saw here, I didn't just keep the, the verses all the same. I came in here and just did a few different things to make each verse a little bit different, even though it had some of the same elements, okay? Um, like for instance, in this second verse, I cut out the, uh, the kick all the way and also cut out the first half of the first um, eight bars um, of the snare and the shaker. You know what I'm saying? And then over here, you can see what I did as well in the third verse. So just some things to keep in mind. Look, if you need a little bit more pointers and tips and stuff like that, you can search all of the videos on my channel. You know, we have hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel um, teaching you how to make beats. But if you want something a little bit more focused and organized, you can go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses on there with full curriculums and organized videos showing you step by step the process of making beats in Logic Pro 10 and how to become a better producer. Also, I do want to point out that we have kits there and we also have um, loop packs and one on one service. So like, say, if you want an actual live Zoom call where you can ask me questions live, or maybe have me look over one of your beats live or make a beat with you live. And, you know, you can kind of get uh, that that one on one direct, uh, you know, what I'm saying ability to ask me questions and stuff like that cool so make sure you go to the site beatmakingbasics.com if you want any of those services or need more um, all the links are in the description below and thank you so much for watching also if you are a sponsor and you want to sponsor one of these videos hit me up in my email and we can talk about that as well appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video we're out